some some sensitive information also like uh, like uh, uh, GPS coordinates, right? Where where exactly you were when you were taking the photograph, right? Uh, this is all rich information that um, is taken by default, and you, in case you are interested in, in kind of like finding out more about this information, uh, and I, I'm transitioning to a different class, we'll probably end it at that and we'll continue this discussion. But if you use uh, tool like, tools like EXIF or perhaps uh, Image Magic, which is what I'm using right now, and you, you, you sort of like try and, uh, how is the one here? So if you, if you try and uh, check, right? you notice that you have access to all this. This is the metadata I'm talking about here, right? And embedded within here is, and some of these things might not make sense to you, but if you're a person who's doing geography, for instance, as your minor, you notice already that, ooh, you have access to this sort of information, right? GPS coordinates, longitude and latitudes. Yeah? Uh, so with this information, um, you can pretty much easily figure out where this person was located when you took this photo. And in fact, application software like, um, Google Photos, for instance, will automatically showcase to say you were in, uh, let's say, in, uh, I, I don't know, Eastern Province or something when you took this photo because that application is designed to take advantage of this sort of information, right? Other tools that you might want to use is Exif, for instance, I guess. Um, I just won't open it, no I here. But, uh, but yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah, I guess identify is, is, is good enough. Uh, so I mean, if you're if you're doing, I guess uh, if you're doing, let me just try exit two here. If you're doing geography, right, you know that uh, you'll be able to figure out um, where Lighton was when you took this photo because all you do is you go to the. Uh, details to do with the longitude and the latitude, I guess, let's see if two. Uh, so you, you'd come here and you'd, uh, I wonder why this thing is, longitude is, this is east, I don't know where it is. I was looking for a much better formatted uh, coordinate. So if you, you'd come to this photo, right, this image here, this is, you come here and you say, well, light on shares this and you're trying to snoop on light on or something you say well we are going to catch him or something this is 15 plus uh people doing geography probably not not probably know what i'm doing here right and i think i don't know if you did this 15 plus 54 uh plus plus uh Okay, so it says this is 54.6262, right? Uh, 4.62, right? So it's a latitude, south also. Uh, it would be 21 plus this divided by 60, then this divided by, hmm. 60. I think I'm doing the right thing here. I don't know if I'm not, that's fine also. So this would be the the latitude and the longitude is uh, 28 plus, um, this would be 20 uh, plus 9.32 divided by 60. I mean, it's, I guess it's an approximation of something divided by 60 also. It's an approximation of something, but, but so this is uh, east, uh, south. You see, so the latitude, if you remember your, your, your calculations here, this is a negative value, right? And then this is east, so it's positive, it's fine. So we see that the location for this image is supposed to be somewhere. And the reason I'm doing this, right, is this is how they catch people sometimes, right? People that don't know what's happening here. Uh, well, I was not there when this happened. They said, but how come this photo that you shared, right, tells us that you were? Oh, well, um, I don't know. But anyway, uh, so we see that uh, the location of this, of this 
the location of Lycon when he was taking this photo was this. And using, using this, the reason I was doing this is because you can, you can actually take advantage of, uh, you can take advantage of uh, maps, right? Google Maps to kind of like figure out. I mean, it, it to like Google Maps or OpenStreetMap or something, application software to figure out where exactly Lighton was, right? Where you took this photo. And if my computations were correct, this should be a location somewhere in Zambia or something, right? Um, I hope. And I think my calculation was probably a bit off here. But I, I, I'm sure the people that are doing, uh, I think my calculation was a bit off here somehow. Because this doesn't look like. Uh, Yeah, my, my calculation was probably a bit off here somehow. I'm not sure where. Ah, there we go, it's here. This is supposed to be like that. Like that. Because I was supposed to divide what is in here by 60 first, and then what is outside by 60. Yeah? So this is actually supposed to be like so. Right, and then this this is correct. So it's uh, negative fifteen point three six uh, all the way uh, up to. There we go. I don't know if this is any different. I think so. Yeah, it's just six point zero six point two. Um, hope if, if this works, then um, if I open up a new map instance here and. If I if I access maps and then punch in the newly computed coordinate, it should be somewhere in Zambia or something. I hope now, uh, but it doesn't matter. There we go, Lusaka, right? So we see that uh, Lighton was uh, was somewhere in. If you see this this um, uh, place marker here, you notice that Lighton was somewhere in 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 uh, where is that Mombe area somewhere. You see that somewhere near Justo Mali University or something. But, but yeah, so, so it's this stuff, but the, this raises interesting questions, right? And I'm guessing this is some of the things you're going to, going to be introduced to in um, computer security or something, right? So what, what about when I'm sending photos in WhatsApp? What I want you to do is just do a simple test, right? Between now and the next time we meet, and then try and see what sort of information tools like WhatsApp will strip out. It turns out that uh, the people that build some of these applications know that these devices capture sensitive information. And they know that the vast majority of people that use these tools have no idea that this is what happens behind the scenes. And so they will switch that feature off by default. In fact, by default, the feature that allows you to specify whether you want to capture the geolocation of the photos is switched off in your average Android smartphone, at least the Androids that I've owned in the past. 